Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. It is early morning here in Atlanta, Georgia on Monday, May 8th. I hope you guys are all doing well and you're having a wonderful start to your week. First of all, I want to thank you guys for being so patient. These last couple of weeks have been crazy town over here crazy 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 busy it's almost felt like a circus over here so of course i haven't been able to put out the normal five days a week sometimes seven days a week material that i normally put out and so i thank you guys for being extremely patient with that i actually have a whole load of research that i've already done for some deep dives all i have to do is film them hopefully tomorrow i'm hoping fingers crossed that tomorrow i'll be able to literally just film all day and start the editing process so i can get those deep dives to you guys really really soon but again once again from one human being to another human being i thank you guys so much for being incredibly patient with me as i've gone through a lot of the craziness of the last couple of weeks it's nothing it's all really good stuff actually the wheels of justice are finally starting to turn and so it's all really good stuff it's just been very time consuming and so unfortunately i haven't had the availability to film like i normally do but hopefully that all changes tomorrow now with that being said normally on tuesdays we release the octurian anthology that will not be that the next installment will not be tomorrow due to my lack of being able to film but the next installment will however be next tuesday we'll be getting back into that installment now i do have excitingly enough i do have a couple of giveaways that are coming up which i'm really really excited about i was gonna wait to do the giveaways until like i got the product in to actually send out to you guys but um it's on its way so because i was so excited i thought i would just go ahead and tell you guys but i'm gonna wait until the end of this video to tell you guys because i want to cover some other things first so again just because this week has our because last week was busy we might be a little bit light on videos from esoteric atlanta tomorrow there will be a round table that is released with myself and cindy and angie we're going to be talking about the origins of the sophia code all that kind of stuff i will be back on with aquarius rising africa as always on monday mornings at 10 a.m eastern time so that's my time the only time i'm not there on mondays if it is if something's come up for me or something's come up for them but we are finishing up the Emerald Tablets, Tablet 6. Hopefully this week we'll be done with it and next week we'll start with Tablet 7. I will be back on Solutions with Aquarius Rising Africa on Wednesday so that we can go into our next part of the Sophia Code. I'm not sure how far we actually got last week, but it got last week because if you were watching, I my, my internet actually shut down towards the end because of the construction. So we were finishing up Hathor. I'm not sure if Shanti and Theo were able to finish Hathor without me or not, but regardless, wherever they ended, that's where we'll pick up next or this Wednesday on Solutions by Aquarius Rising Africa. This Thursday, Catherine Edwards will be back on my channel for our coffee chat. We, we alternate every other week so last week I was on Catherine's channel this week I'll be on my own channel and I am also planning hopefully this week a Q&A with Jay, April, Catherine, Hillis, Angie, all the ASEA people so that we can answer all of your questions which I spoke about last week but if you missed that video if you have any questions regarding ASEA my sponsor ASEA whether that's you're confused about the product what the product does or whether you want to understand more about the business there are no such thing as stupid questions the only stupid question is one not asked so anything you're confused about just ask in the comment section below as well and we will cover that on the round table jay and hillis especially are really big in the business so they can answer a lot of your questions especially when it comes to business Catherine, of course as you know is a biologist and so she's good at explaining the redox and what redox really is and why it's so beneficial to your health i also want to from the bottom of my heart i want to remind all of you guys of something if you get anything from my channel if you can take one thing away from my channel it's that i hope you understand that you own the deed to your own soul you own your soul okay there is no human being out there that can tell you whether your soul is dark or light i have been made aware that this is going on in our community and again i just want to remind you that this whatever you've been told isn't true this is exactly what the church has done for years the church has been the holder of our salvation 
right? And that's, that's not true. You are the holder of your own soul. You were born into, just by merely being alive, you were born into salvation, if that's what you want to call it. Again, I'm going to reiterate, no human being can tell you whether you are a dark or light soul. That's not possible. It's not their business. In fact, the, the law of one even says this. The law of one says it's very dangerous to try to label other people as ascending negative or positive. Okay, so if somebody has said that to you, first of all, I know that is hurtful. I know that and I empathize with your pain, but it's not true. That person is massively delusional. Okay, I also want to remind you guys that when we move into the new timeline, whatever that may be, there will be no more royalty. Royalty comes from the idea of a divine bloodline, a divine right to rule. Basically, it's, it's no, it has nothing to do with the merits of your actions or whether you're right for the job and everything to do with you being a ruler just because. So this idea of kings and queens and all that kind of stuff, that's part of the old system. That's part of the controller system. We know pyramids are good by nature. They were designed to be good, but the darkness can't create anything. It can only steal from the light and invert it. And so they inverted the pyramid by making people royal. The royalty sits at the top of the pyramid and we all sit below. Royalty, nobody votes somebody into royalty. They're not put there by the selection of the people. They're put there because they say so. So when we move into the new timeline, we will not have royalty anymore. So if someone's going around saying so-and-so is going to be king and so-and-so is going to be queen, that is simply not true. That is the old system. That is the system of the cabal. Everybody watching right now, you watching, you're royalty. You, we all are. We're all equal in the eyes of God. We're all a fractal of God. From my understanding, when we get into a new system, we will have in our own districts com committees. And every human being will have to serve on the committee at some point. We won't have people on the committee for years and years and years and years. There will be a rotation. And this is to make sure, to ensure that every single human being's needs are met. That no one is overlooked. And this is also to make sure that there is no overreach of power. Because absolute power corrupts absolutely so i just wanted to put that out there and i don't know the details of how the committees are going to work i've just been given a broad understanding of what's going to happen because we can't have this nonsense that we have going on right now we just can't in the new timeline so i hope if you're somebody who's watching who has been hurt or confused by any of this i hope that makes you feel better and i just re again just want to reiterate you are not a dark soul just because somebody tells you you are a dark soul. Especially if they told you you are a dark soul because you simply just disagreed with them over something. That's called narcissism. Be careful of those who practice by rules for thee, but not for me. Be careful about people who censor you, who punish you for speaking out. You, who mute you just because you have a different opinion. That's no different than what the controllers do. You deserve better than that. I also want to remind you guys that pendulums are very dangerous. Pendulums are not something that I, I have multiple pendulums, but I don't really even use them that much. Tamara has spoken about this, and I'm going to reiterate this. So like, here's one of my pendulums. A pendulum, the way a pendulum works is that it, it reads your subtle energy because it's you that's touching the pendulum, okay? It's going to read your conscious mind. The only thing you should be asking this pendulum are questions that you are not emotionally invested in. Again, Tamara has spoken about this. Should I have more vitamin C in my diet? I'm not emotionally invested in whether I eat more vitamin C or not. So whatever the pendulum tells me, I know it's coming from my higher self and my subconscious because I don't care if I need to eat more vitamin C or not. That doesn't affect me on an emotional level. 
We cannot ask the pendulum questions about other people. First of all, that goes against the laws of consent, which we're going to talk more about. But second of all, you're never going to be able to read the energy of another person because it's you who is holding the pendulum. The pendulum is reading you. And whatever you want that answer to be, that's what the pendulum is going to say. I'm going to tell you guys a story because I've been playing with pendulums for years now. Many, 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 many years ago, long before I even considered a YouTube channel, this was probably, if I remember correctly, before I'd even started going to India, I was in a relationship with a man who was cheating on me. Now, it was very obvious that this man was cheating on me. It was extremely obvious. My friends were concerned. Everybody was worried. People were saying things to me, but I did not want to believe he was cheating on me. I convinced myself that all the evidence was just a coincidence. So I went and asked my pendulum if my boyfriend was cheating on me. And of course the pendulum said no, because I wanted it to say no. When in reality, he absolutely was cheating on me. So please keep that in mind. Now, if there is somebody in your life that you're not sure about, if this person is good for you or not, you can ask the pendulum, is so-and-so good for me? And this, the pendulum will read your subconscious, your energy field, and say yes or no. This, however, does not mean that that person is bad. It just means that you're not meant to be working together. There's plenty of good people out there that maybe I don't, want to work with or don't jive with it doesn't mean they're bad people so we have to keep that into perspective so once again do not be throwing pendulums around asking questions about people outside of yourself okay and be very i mean take the pendulum the pendulum is the least trustworthy of all divination tools it's the least trustworthy the most trustworthy is probably i would say was the I Ching. the I Ching's really good but the I Ching is very different than other divinations and i have considered doing a breakdown on the I Ching. i've re i've and I have somebody in my life who reads the I Ching pretty well, and maybe I can bring that person on to talk about it, to, to explain to you guys what the I Ching actually is. Um, it, it's very, it's way more precise than tarot cards or pendulums. It gives you, it, it really talks to you more. So it's there's there's a lot less that is left up to your interpretation. And that's the thing too with divination. So if you go to a channeler or a divinator, you always have to remember to take things with the grain of salt anyway, because the channeler, the divinator are, are explaining things through the perceptions of their own reality. It's not that they're intentionally doing that to dissuade you. It's just that that's just the reality of being human. We only see life. We only th 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 see circumstances through our own reality of perception. And so when you go to a reader, most readers will tell you just to take what resonates because they are aware there is such things as, as, stuff being lost in translation so just be aware of that i also want to remind you that it is not okay to pull tarot cards on somebody without their consent and the higher self stuff is nonsense okay let me explain it to you this way if you want to have a i have to be careful how i say this if you want to have an intimate relationship with someone sex if you want to have that type of a relationship with someone and that person says no and then you go home and ask their higher self and it says yes and so you force yourself on that person that's considered r-a-p-e the higher self does not get to dictate the karma of the lower self because the lower self is the self that's experiencing the karma the higher self is totally neutral and at peace the lower self is what's experiencing karma and a lot of time malicious spirits can mimic somebody else else's higher self because most of the time you will never be able to speak to somebody's higher self unless you have that person's permission to speak to their higher self so whoever it is you're talking to if you don't have that person's permission it's not their higher self that you're speaking to you also have to remember that when you pull tarot cards on somebody without their permission you are acting in a 4d negative timeline so the more you do it the more you're pushing yourself towards going fourth density negative because that is service to self it's gossip it's service to self and i will tell you too this is the way spirit works if i haven't given you permission to pull tarot cards on me which i have revoked all permission the only people who are allowed to divinate on me are the people who have asked to divinate on me privately
They're the only ones that have that permission. I have one friend here in Atlanta, Georgia, who has constant permission to divinate on me, a friend that I trust with my life. And that is only if there is something going on with all the danger I've been under and she needs to figure something out. Okay. She doesn't do it unless she needs to. Okay. If you pull tarot cards on somebody and they haven't given you permission, that's for the negative action towards you. And you will have to pay the karma back for that. That is a, there is cause and effect here. Now, a lot of black witches and black warlocks will do this. will pull tarot cards on people without their permission. And then they'll do spell casting to try to null and void the karma that they're going to receive. But what they don't understand is that the karma always has to play out at one point or another. It is going to have to play itself out. And if you are enticing people who are pulling tarot cards on others without their permission, that's just as bad as you pulling the tarot cards without that person's permission. Another thing I want to let you know, because this is how spirit works. If you're pulling tarot cards on somebody without their permission, you're not going to get the true story. So anything you're learning from these tarot cards on somebody else without them giving consent isn't even true. God's not going to give away information like that. Now, yes, you can get information on people from spying on them and like going through their private records. But when it comes to spiritual divination, those channels are closed. If the person has not given that permission for you to pull the cards, their channels are closed. You can't open them without their consent. So the information you're getting is bunk anyway. I mean, some of the shit I've heard from these tarot card readers in our community is it's so out there. It's so delusional. And it's just not even true. And they know it's not true. They know. I I know who they work for. They know who they work for. I know they know I know who they work for. So just be very careful with that. Remember, would you want somebody pulling tarot cards on you without your permission? No. So why would you do that to somebody else? And it doesn't matter if you think, oh, well, it's Bill Gates and, you know, he's this and that. So it's okay. No, it doesn't matter. Every human being is worthy of redemption in this world. And so we have no, we have no right to read on somebody, even if we deem them to be bad guys. Because we don't know their soul plan. And we can't call somebody bad just because our tarot card said they were. I know who is bad because I have evidence. I have the actual paperwork that shows where my money's going. I have an FBI file that anybody can look up. It's, it's freedom of information. You can look at the FBI file. It's all factual evidence. That's how I know somebody is bad. Okay, so we can't, we can't, this makes us just as delusional as the normies. The normies who are confused about who they are, what they are. We're just as delusional and we think we can get all the answers from a fucking tarot card reader. No, we need actual evidence. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I, I hope, I just want you guys to understand like right now your main focus should be yourself. Healing yourself, doing your shadow work, being kind to yourself, being kind to others. It should not be spying on other people. Right. The more you try to project onto other people, the more you try to interfere with other people, all that says is you're neglecting you and you're trying to escape the work that you actually need to do on you. OK, next item on the list. Uh, I, if you guys caught the last episode I did with Catherine Edwards, we spoke about this. The overlords of this platform of YouTube have put out some new uh, rules and regulations for this platform. And unfortunately, it's getting even stricter. So normally I, I am going to hold this up, this sign up, because I can't say these words on YouTube now. I just quickly scribbled this note for you guys. So YouTube is my main platform, but I also have another channel on Now, a lot of the videos that I cannot put up on here, I put there. Normally, I would link it, but we can't do that anymore. And so I, I can't do it for you anymore at all. So I would suggest that if you're not subscribed, to go ahead and subscribe to both places so that my videos with Tamara, with some other potent videos, that you get notified when those drop on the other website. Yeah? Does that make sense? I'm trying to be very careful how I say this because, again, the algorithms. 
I also am going to let you guys know in the process of opening up my own website, that might take a couple more months um, where we are going to have everything's going to be on the website too. Um, my older videos, unfortunately, won't be up there because I've lost, you know, this. I've had my channel now for like, what, three years. So there's a lot of work, my really old videos that I've kept up on my channel that I don't have the raw footage anymore. So unfortunately, those won't be able to be moved. But once I set that website up, there'll be three different locations for my videos at that point. Um, hopefully, we'll be getting some merchandise in as well. I'm really excited about that. I'm hoping hoping to do like an esoteric Atlanta t shirt that I can cut for you guys or make them so you can cut it yourself, um, since people always want to cut t-shirts like my cut t-shirts. So be on the lookout for that. Hopefully that will be available in the next couple of months. Now, before we get to the giveaways, I also want to give a big shout out, a big thank you to all of my patrons and my producers here on Esoteric Atlanta. Again, you guys are the tr you're the original sponsors you are the original you're the og sponsors on this channel and you have no idea how grateful i am for you before i got my sponsorship i really relied heavily on my patrons and my my producers and i still do i mean you guys are literally you're you are so valuable to me. I hope that you guys understand that. And I like to give you guys credit on my research videos. When I do videos with other people or I do like the Tom Kenyon things, I really can't put a lot on there because it's with somebody else's work, if that makes sense. But when I do my deep dives, I, I do always like to give credit to my producers and my patrons by doing a name, a name roll for you guys because I want you to understand how grateful I am and truly appreciative I am to you for helping support me helping support this channel you guys mean the world to me so once again thank you so much um the next deep dive hopefully tomorrow i can film you'll see your names reappear back on the roll uh, with our next deep dive that hopefully is coming up at some point this week once i can get it filmed um if you would like to join the patreon and producer community that link is always down in the description box below now before we get to our giveaways we have two giveaways coming up this week a brief word from our sponsors. If you are like me, then you love a good face mask. No, I kid you not, I have been obsessed with face masks since I was a teenager. I have memories of being in high school and having slumber parties with my girlfriends and trying different face masks. This has literally been something that I have been obsessed with my whole life. Now the problem with me is that I have very dry skin. So I have to be very, very careful with the type of face mask that I use. Otherwise it will dry my skin out too much and that itself starts to cause some problems. Well, of course, ASEA just released its own face mask. It ran for a trial run last month, and it looks like it's possibly, potentially here to stay. Now, of course, once the mask was released, they were gonna be doing the mask, I had to order one, just so I could try it out. Because again, girl loves a good face mask. I was a little bit nervous. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was a little bit nervous that it might dry my skin out. But nonetheless, I thought, what's the harm in trying? I've loved all of their face care system I've been using up until this point, so let's just try the mask. Well, true story, I got the mask in last week. And so that night when I got it in, I washed my face. I put this mask on, when you, which you leave on for about 10 minutes, set my bath up, my, ni my nightly bath, put my Epsom salts in, all that kind of stuff, grabbed my murder mystery book. I'm always reading some murder mystery book got in the bath soaked for like an hour washed the face mask off got out of the bath did the rest of my skin routine went to bed well the very very next morning i was in the kitchen with my boyfriend we were still in our pajamas super early in the morning and he reached over touched my face and gave me a kiss and he noticed that my face felt tight like i had had like a facelift or like Botox overnight. Now he was not aware that I had done the face mask. He didn't even know that it had come in the mail the day before. And I said, interesting, I literally just did the ASEA face mask. And I went to look in the mirror and it had appeared overnight that my skin had tightened. Now, yes, I am 40 years old, so I'm kind of at that hinge age, right? I'm still young but I'm moving into middle age. And so I am even more aware now about what I do to my skin as I enter into the latter part of my life. Since that first time using it, I've used it a couple of more times and absolutely I am feeling a difference. It really feels like I 
have had just someone pull the skin back. It's unbelievable. And so you can order the mask on its own. I actually have a couple more masks coming to me because I wanted to stock up. That's how good this mask is. Or you can get the bundle along with the brush. Personally, I have not used the brush, nor did I order the brush. I just use my hands. Or if you want, you can order a bundle of either your personal spa day with the with the lotion which i do have this lotion as well or you can come over here the ultimate gift for mom we know mother's day is coming up or if you just want to send your mom a gift because you know what you wouldn't be here without your mama or you could actually just order this for yourself but the mask again the mask is really something special because it really, uh, after the first use, I noticed a difference and so did my boyfriend. So if this is something that you're interested in, please look down in the description box below and you will see a link to the ASEA website where you can read more about the mask or all the other products that are offered by ASEA. If you would like more information on ASEA, what the products can do for you, what products would be best for you, how to get a SIA at a wholesale price, then you can text Bryce Info, B R I C E Info, to 321 216 8047. Again, that's Bryce Info to the telephone number 321 216 8047. If you are texting from another country, please make sure you add plus one. 321-216-8047. Not sure if the mask is available in other countries just yet. I know they're planning on releasing it to other countries, but some of the other products are definitely available in other countries. So please just text Bryce Info to the number listed below. Again, all that information is down in the description box. All right, you guys, time for the giveaway. So the first giveaway that we're giving away, now today is Monday, May 8th. Next week, let's see, I'm gonna do the deadline at the 15th. So May 15th is the deadline. So if you want to be considered for these prizes, for these giveaways, I'm giving two things away. You're going to have to comment down the comment section below, and I'll tell you what to comment in a sec in a second. So the first giveaway that I am do giving away is a month's membership to Marnie Alton's website. You guys know I love Marnie Alton. I included her a lot in, um, in my shadow work templates that I made for you guys. I think she's fantastic. She's very accessible and, and I'm a member of her platform as well. And she has these awesome um, classes that she, she puts out multiple classes a week. You can participate live, all these kinds of things. So she has 60 minute workouts that are my favorite, the 60 minutes. She also has 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. So it's really no equipment workout. So it's very accessible for everyone. So whether you're new to low impact stretch, whether you're new to exercise and you can only do 20 minutes, great, she's got you covered. Or if you're someone like me that's been working out hard for like 17 years, she's got the 60 minutes intense workout that I do. It's awesome and, you, and she's got all these challenges herself that you can do. So like here's a 28 day self care challenge that you can just pull up and it gives you kind of like what I did with the shadow work channel. It gives you day one, day two, it gives you all the days in a row so you can kind of help get yourself onto the habit of exercise so it doesn't matter what country you live in for this prize as long as you're able to access marnie alton's website so i will put this website link down in the description box below so that you can click on it just to make sure your country supports mbody which is her website and if you would like to be considered for uh, the, the monthly subscription, for a monthly su subscription on me on Esoteric Atlanta, just put your name and M body beside your name and you'll go into the raffle for her website to get that uh, month membership on us on Esoteric Atlanta. Now, the second giveaway we're doing is with the ASEA products. Let me pull it up here. So I'm going to be giving away one 
Renew Advanced Skin Care System Foaming Cleanser Balancing Toner Glow Serum and Hydrating Cream. This is a $145 value. Now, unfortunately, the way it is right now, I can only send this product to people living in the United States. I know that's going to be changing soon. I know they're, they, they a lot of these products, they experiment on us in the United States first. So this particular prize can only be shipped to people who live in the United States. Now, if you live in another country and you know somebody, in the United States and you want to be submitted for this prize, you can work that out with them, have give their address and I can ship it to them and then they can get it to you. But for me, uh, for the sponsorship, I can only send this to people living in the United States. So again, the Marnie Alton website, it's for anybody as long as your country supports their website. For this, the ASEA, it's only for the Americans right now. But if you want to be considered for the uh, skincare system, then you put your name and you put ASEA beside it, A-S-E-A. -E and, um, and I will put you in the drawing for the skincare products as well. Now, you can submit yourself for both, for both the skincare and Marnie Alton's website, um, but you can't win both. So if I pull your name for the skincare, then I'm going to take your name out of Marnie Alton and vice versa. I don't know which one I'll be pulling first, but that just to make it fair. Um, if you already have a subscription to Marnie Alton's website and you still want to go into the drawing, you can use the month. You can pause your subscription with Marnie Alton and let us cover it for a month, or you can re-gift you can re-gift the gift card to somebody else in your life who, who wants to start taking care of themselves. Um, same with the skincare. If you already are using the skincare and you just want to give it as a gift to somebody else, that's fine too. No problems with that. We're going to have more giveaways coming up. I'm just waiting for all the details. So I love doing this kind of stuff. This makes me really, it's just, this is fun. This is fun for me to, to give things to people. So yeah. Um, all right, you guys. Well, again, I hope you're having a start of a wonderful week. Again, thank you so much for being very patient with me these last couple of weeks. And hopefully we'll be back to our regular schedule very soon. Be looking out for me on Aquarius Rising Africa on Mondays at 10 on Solutions with Aquarius Rising Africa on Wednesdays at 1230 Eastern Time. These are my times. And then, of course, of course, again, Catherine Edwards will be back on my channel on Thursday. I also will be back on the channel Enough is Enough on the T-E-L-E gram. I can't say it, but at two o'clock on Thursdays, two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Gordon does record all those episodes. So if you cannot listen at the time that I'm on live, you can always go back and re-listen to the recordings. The only thing about being live is you're welcome to ask questions right then and there. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. I hope you're having a wonderful Mercury retrograde. We got one more week of this and I will talk to you soon. Bye.